Since its founding, the Universal Peace Federation has been deeply committed to building a world of peace. Thanks to the hard work of our international chapters and our partners, our presence and impact have continued to grow and develop. This movement that the UPF has tried to put together in various nations, various regions, various continents, has now gained tremendous ground. The UPF's International Leadership Conferences continue to inspire prominent figures with the Founders' vision of one family under God. We hold seminars on good governance, human rights, character education, and the importance of spiritual values. Thanking the sponsors, uh, Universal Peace Federation, for putting together this uh, really very, uh, very important uh, conference. Universal Peace Federation is a committed, indefatigable, and steadfast friend of the United Nations and an advocate for family values. The four main areas of UPF's work are interfaith dialogue, strengthening marriage and family, education, and service. In each of these areas, we aim to support and supplement the work of the United Nations, and create networks of peace builders from all walks of life. In the past year, UPF carried out thousands of programs in over 100 nations, many of them in support of the United Nations mission. We are grateful that the region took upon themselves to celebrate and to augment the work of the United Nations. You see women from Africa, from Asia, from Europe, uh, the United States, from all over the world coming together, having the same goal, the same ideas that we can make a difference. UPF also organized a series of educational programs in support of strong marriages and healthy families, including a family day partnership with the United Nations Office of the Family. In addition to our work as an NGO at the United Nations, we are working closely with the African Union. Each year in New York, we organize celebrations of Africa Day, and our chapters around the world organize their own programs. I thank you very much, Universal Peace Federation, on this very happy Africa Day. Let us rededicate ourselves to our partnership in the pursuit of peace and progress for all Africa's people. To mark the anniversary of the UPF Founders' call for the creation of an interfaith council at the United Nations, UPF held a series of consultations on this issue. Liberals and fundamentalists in all three faiths must build bridges and attempt to avoid future confrontations. An interreligious council at the UN could assist them by holding conferences, workshops, etc. designed to reduce tensions. The interaction with religious leaders is very full of love and heart and a desire to inherit the rich tradition and to cooperate, collaborate into doing something great. Our Office of Peace and Security is addressing the interplay between hard power approaches to peace and soft power approaches that involve civil society, faith-based organizations, and track two diplomacy. I worked in the, in the UN for more than 30 years. To see such a large effort from the grassroots to support the UN, I feel that to reach peace, it is possible in my lifetime. They are calling each of us to look deep within ourselves, to reflect upon the world situation, and how UPF can continue to be that agent of change that the world so desperately needs.